Oh, what's what, what's what, what's what? Hey, go to you. I'm known as the godfather of Malaysian stand-up comedy only because I started in 1991 and there was no stand-up comedy at the time. In fact, there was no other, there were no other stand-up comedians for the next 12 to 15 years in Malaysia. I was, I was doing it alone. Props to the Malaysian police. Malaysian police are the most effective in the world, probably. You have the charge, arrest and payment system all in the same place. <laughs> and admittedly, when you do a show in, in that environment, you have to water down. My job as a comedian is to realize where the fence is and push that fence. Any Asian will tell you in this room when you went to school, you got your report card, you hid it for three and a half months. <laughs> you hid your report card until eventually your parents are like, hey, your exam finished three months ago, where's your report card? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot, I forgot. And it does not matter what result you, you, show, you show them. And the Malaysian parents say, all right, let's have a look at the result. All right, science. Science, 98% out of a possible 100. 98%. All right. What happened to the other two marks? <laughs> hmm? Huh? Hmm? Huh? What? You ate. You eat them. You ate the marks. Is it? You ate the marks, huh? Huh? How come? How come you didn't? Our neighbor got 114. <laughs> Got off, got off the plane, got a arrival lounge, got into a taxi, and I was like, oh my god, white flirt driving taxi. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. I was like, white man, white man, no, 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 let me drive, let me drive. <laughs> you, you, you sit behind, you sit. As a Malaysian, I was not used to this. I like, oh. Then we were driving along, and oh, white people doing construction, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> White people picking up rubbish. I'm like, oh, what is this land called Australia? What's going on? We, we have a mall. We have malls too. You've got a mall, yeah. Same kind of shops. You've got the supermarket. You've got the uh, spectacle shop. You've got the, the magazine shop. It's the same, same shops. Same shop. Except, no, uh, one shop uh, in Northbridge that I came across. Uh, black tinted windows. XXX adult shop. There, no, this shop I had never seen in Malaysia. We don't, we, I, I did not know what the shop was. The windows were tinted. Adult, I was, adult shop? Adult shop? What, what, what is adult? What, I, I was 18 at the time. Am I? But I was afraid of this shop because the windows were tinted. I, I would walk past this shop every single day. like, what's, what the hell is in this shop? Why, why, is it, why are the windows tinted? I tried to look. I couldn't see. Couldn't, couldn't see. Couldn't see. It took me three months. Three months as a young Malaysian lad to work up the courage to finally have a look at what is in this bloody shop. I walked to the shop, I, I remember one, it was a, a Friday afternoon, I, w I looked, uh, nobody watching, nobody watching. I, I went in the shop, cling, ding, 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 looked in all Malaysian students inside. As a Malaysian, I'm like, why, why are you talking to me? What you want, what you want, what you want? Uh, in Malaysia, you ask somebody if they're having a good day, you want something from them. <laughs> but it was my first exposure to uh, Australians uh, in, in a working environment, not just Australians, but Italian Australians. And uh, I quickly learned that Italian Australians are very much like Malaysians. Uh, they they sh scream and shout at each other all the time. <laughs> when they're not actually angry. You're still be talking to, to, to the... the <laughs> And I'm like, is everything okay? No, 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 it's all fine. <laughs> I have performed in front of every Prime Minister since Mahathir, which is only three. 